So, my name is Garth Crooks, um, former professional footballer, now broadcasting for the BBC, um, and loving every minute of it. My tips for success, wow. Um, uh, oh, I suppose there are a number of things really. I think the first thing that comes to mind is being single-minded. And times have changed, but growing up, if you weren't part of a group or a community, if you did anything quite, that was slightly different from the norm, then that would gain you unwarranted attention. It would perhaps make you rather unpopular. But if you believed in what you were doing, then sometimes you have to ignore that peer pressure because you are passionate about where you want to go, your mode of travel. And I suppose all through my life, I've not been very interested in what people think or say about me. So I think that in many ways has been a strength as much as a criticism. Well, the thing about women of Afro-Caribbean heritage that I think are absolutely wonderful is they often look stunning when they are in a position to really express themselves. I say this because I have four sisters. Um, I'm the eldest uh, boy um, of four sisters. And growing up with those girls, they were strong-minded, very individual, very different from one another. Had a, an incredible sense of loyalty to one another. And a sense of expectancy from their brother. And I know this is a, a generalization, so forgive it. But I do see that in a lot of Afro-Caribbean families. All those strains. Um, and because I've got four sisters who I respect and love dearly, I'm also very, remind, very mindful of other Afro-Caribbean women, and I'm also very respectful of them, because I have four sisters. And I want men to treat my sisters how I treat other women. My Angela. Her poetry touches on the things that have affected me, so I see that pain. Um, lots of other great poets who I can't quite identify with quite the same. I didn't grow up with, I wasn't taught at school, it wasn't part of the curriculum, which was a real shame. So as I got older, I was introduced to poets like, um, um, County Cullen, um, I'm trying to think of some of the names and they're escaping me now, just when I needed them, they'll come to me. But lots of poets who were part of that 1925 Harlem Renaissance, and when I listened to their work, I thought, my God, the things that they were suffering in the, in the 1925, I was suffering in 1970, 1980, and 1990, and 2000, and 2015. <laughs> so, um, um, they, they, they were, but they were men. The, the women, um, Michelle Obama, uh, Valerie Amos, um, Baroness Howells, um, Diane Abbott. These are women of great fortitude who have come through tremendous opposition to get where they are and stay where they are. Um, other women I admire. Um, I don't know why they're escaping, but I mean, I'll just give you a, a flavor of some of the women that come to my mind. 
I think that there are a few things I would say to aspiring black players in my industry. And one of them is that it's a time where money is no object in the professional game. And it's a time when you can be earning anything from 120 to 200,000 pounds a week with your private jet sitting on at Heathrow Airport. At a time like this, I think it's critical that those players remember what it took to get them there. They're living the dream. Don't forget those people who helped you get there. Um, and it's not the same in, in just in professional football, it's the same in all sorts of industries that affect Afro-Caribbean people. Whether you're a chief executive of a FTSE 100 company, whether you are a great artist, a great architect, a great writer. If you're black and you're now living the dream, it's critical that you remember that journey of, of the others that have helped you get there. And I think that's why I admire Barack Obama so much because he remembered all those great people, men and women, who were part of the journey and the fight that got him into the White House. And I think without knowing that history and acknowledging that history, I think the point of the adventure is pointless. Ooh.